I'm not sick of Christmas music mm -hmm. yet. No. I still like to hear it. Melanie is here from LDS Hospital Labor and Delivery. And I love that you're on Christmas week. I love uh, it too. Well, and I, <laughs> what she's talking about today is what she gets to do at work and how you don't consider it a job. No, I would have to say it's more of a calling. There's a passion that labor and delivery nurses have that they bring to work and bring to their patients. And I think that's something really important. This doesn't happen every day, so. Melanie, how many years have you been a labor and delivery nurse? 22. So you've seen some things. Yes, yes, a <laughs> thing or two. Years. Uh, tell, I wanna hear one of the stories, like one of the ones you think about that, that's happened. That stands out. Yeah. I, you know, it, Every time I go to work, there's something amazing that happens. And sometimes it's heartbreaking, and sometimes it's that's absolutely wonderful. Just this last week, we had a woman that was going unmedicated, so she was a little bit vocal and crying and screaming a little bit. And so I'm hearing these screams and feeling a little bit bad for her that it's hurting. But then in an instant, she delivers. And then you hear the baby cry. And then you hear her say, I love him. I love him so much. And those moments just are so tender. Well, seriously, I mean, we talked about the beautiful gift that has been given. And what is that beautiful gift? I, the gift of life, absolutely. And the gift that these patients, I feel like, give to us as nurses, that they allow us to take care of them and to be a part of that process. Well, I I, huge. well, I'm sorry, these are the angels in the delivery room. <laughs> I swear, a couple of mine held my hand when my husband, like, walked off to watch the game. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, yes, someone <laughs> please hold my hand? And you do. Sometimes the men need a little bit of direction or whatever family member is there. They don't know quite what to do. And so that's part of our role as a labor and delivery nurse is that we help guide what the men are supposed to do. And well, how, I'll, Wait, I'll, how many men have fainted? Did your husband no. get a little woozy? How many guys have just... Whoosh, so in my 22 years, I've had only two men pass out. I took a picture of one for his <laughs> wife, and then the other one, his wife passed out at the same time that he oh, passed no. out. But she was laying in bed, so I helped him. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's the floor. You know, my brother-in-law passes out actually, and really? they have seven. Well, she's pregnant with her seven. Uh oh! Here oh, we go again. Goodness. Here we go. It might be the last time falling though. Well, what <laughs> I want to know is when I'm in that moment, what I really need is a nurse who doesn't make me feel stupid for all of the little questions I'm asking. Because I get a little paranoid in there. I don't want right. to be the girl who cried wolf. So I almost, you know, they're asking, what's your pain level? I'm not sure. So it's so important to have a nurse there who knows what to be looking for right. and can kind of, I don't know. Is it kind of hard sometimes with people's different language of how they articulate and express things to really diagnose where they're at and what's going on? It can be, but that's part of our role. And as you develop your labor and delivery nurse sixth sense, you know. You don't have to say what you need, but the nurse can tell what you need. They're, they get pretty good at assessing what's going on and what they need to do to support you the best way that they can. What so. if someone says, make it stop? <laughs> we hold their hand. You, hold their, you get the warm blanket. That's right. Oh, that's one that's of my right. favorite parts. Yes. Um, I, I, I think it's pretty obvious she loves her job. Yes, well, I want to know your best advice you give to a woman mm. in that moment when she's having a hard time. Oh, gosh. Sorry, on the spot. I think, you know what? Flexibility is key, and that's usually what I tell women uh, beforehand. But when they're in the moment, it's really just about uh, the people that are around them being supportive and just giving them what they need at the time and sometimes just locking eyes with them and just saying, you're going to make it, mm -hmm. and this is going to be wonderful. Think about the end result. Uh, Melanie, this is a tough question. Where is the best hospital to have a baby? Mm, LDS where, Hospital, where I would it? have to say. <laughs> we have 30 of the best nurses out there. Oh, well, I want you standing by me. I'm not having another one. But I want you standing by Jesse. Wait. Yes, seriously. LDS Hospital Labor and Delivery 2. Schedule a tour. You can go check it out even. Uh, that's their phone number, and we'll put all their information on our website. Merry Christmas, Melanie. Thank, Thank you, you. For all you do for you all those bet. cute moms and Thank babies. Thank you.